Seems to be the right address. Records say a lot of ASAM stuff is delivered here. Apparently, they were expecting a comm hub, too. Wait. You hear that? I don't think we're alone in here. Keep your wits about you while we look around. Ghouls! Assuming this is the right place, why would a vault facility be having ASAM equipment delivered? Didn't one of the ASAM sensors talk about Robco being in partnership with vault -Tec? Maybe that's why. Why is that important? Hold that thought. Just found the employee records. There's a name in here. Magnuson. Have you heard that name somewhere before? That... Sounds familiar. I can't shake the feeling I'm forgetting something important. It was somewhere recently. We were both there and... Wait, I remember now. The terminal records at the satellite station. We read the same name there. It was a Magnuson who had the comm hub we found shipped to Olivia. Huh. Maybe this guy was in charge of delivering hubs or something? This seems like something we should look into. Maybe this Magnuson had an office here. Let's see if we can find it. I think we found the office. Oh, good. Working terminal. Just give me a second. In here. Whoa. <laughs> this is some serious security. Oh, damn it. Can't crack this password. Come on. All right, Terminal, you asked for it. Finally, I'm in. Okay, let's see what we can learn. Huh. Well, I never. 
I think I discovered why vault -Tec was so interested in ASAM equipment. If I'm reading this right, it looks like vault -Tec was trying to develop a rival product to the ASAM sensors. What makes you think that? These terminal entries. There's multiple references to it. Seems this Magnuson was hired by vault -Tec because he used to work with Rob Crow on the ASAMs. He must have wanted his insider knowledge. Although, judging by his terminal entries, I don't think this guy took his job here very seriously. Scratch that. He really didn't take his job seriously. In fact, he was using his position here to embezzle company equipment. That's a hell of a risk. The nerve on this guy. He was actually stealing from vault -Tec. Building materials, computers, robots. Hell, he was even stealing the race hams and... I think we're gonna find a second comp up here. Why do you say that? vault were expecting a comp up to be shipped here. But this Madison guy hijacked the delivery. Had it sent to Olivia instead. What we came here to look for, we've already found. It's okay. You couldn't have known. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate the kind words. Looks like we're stuck with the hub we have. But, it does sound like vault -Tec were working on something similar. Maybe we should investigate this rival product of theirs. Hey, maybe it's something we can use? The terminal said this place has a warehouse where they worked on projects. I'm thinking we should take a peek down there. Although, terminal also said we'd need to take an elevator. And supposedly, we'd need a keycard for that. There's gotta be one around here somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. we need. Let's go take that elevator. Yes, ferals. All right, let's look around. There's gotta be something down here. I'm not seeing much. How about you? Hold up. Got some Robco boxes here. Empty. Not a single sensor or anything. They must have been keeping all the stuff they were working on somewhere. This can't be all there is. We're missing something. Let's keep looking.
Hey, nice work. Hidden trap door, huh? Now we're talking. Well, after you. Ah, now this is more like it. Let's go take a look, see, shall we? Check this place out. Vault-Tec really were trying to make a rival product. Although it looks like they were trying to skip the whole R&D phase and just reverse engineer everything. <laughs> In partnership, my ass. Huh. A weird setup. I wonder, what were they trying to do with these ASAM sensors? Don't suppose you've any ideas? I don't know. Well, even though they never got their hands on the comm hub, it doesn't seem to have stopped vault -Tec trying to rip off ASAM technology. Question is, what did they come up with? Let's split up and see what we can uncover down here. Let me know if you find anything interesting. Hmm. What's all that ruckus about? <laughs> Would you look at this thing? What were vault trying to do here? And what's that noise it's making? Ugh, there must be something wrong with it. All right, let's take a closer look here. Huh. This machine's picking up some kind of radio signal. It seems like it's trying to connect to something nearby. Hey, do me a favor. Go to that table with the ASAMs in the other room. All right, there should be a switch there. Flip it off and cut the power to the sensors. All right, come on back. <clears throat> yep, that confirms what I thought, all right. About what? The signals this machine was picking up. They were coming from those ASAMs. They were emitting the radio signals. Really? Listen for yourself. You turned off the ASAMs, signals are no longer broadcasting. QED. I didn't know the sensors could do something like that. Emit a radio signal, that is. But that begs the question. Just what is this thing? Why is it trying to pick up signals from sensors? Just what kind of ASAM technology were vault -Tec trying to copy here? Have any ideas? Not really, no. There's gotta be something around here to tell us what this machine is. Some notes or documents or something. Take a look around, see what you can find. I found some technical documents for you. Really now? Let me take a look. Well, I'll be. According to these documents, this machine is Vault-Tec's attempt to 
duplicate a comm hub. I mean, it's not exactly a good attempt, but still, I suppose an effort was made. Not much a rival product, though. Doesn't even seem to work right. I guess after Magnus installed the hub, vault -Tec were forced to build their own version with no real reference. Hmm. You know, if this thing really is a reproduction of a comm hub, I think we actually might be able to use this. How? We came here looking for another comm hub, because the one we've got so badly damaged it won't even turn on. And while it's not exactly what I expected to find here, this vault -Tec knockoff might still be useful. Call me optimistic. But between this thing and the real comm hub, we might just be able to cobble together something that works. I don't see how that helps us. Okay, let me explain. This thing was designed to replicate an ASAM comm hub. And while it's far from a perfect reproduction, it may be similar enough so that we can use parts of it to repair our hub. Or we could use parts from our comm hub to make this thing work right. Whichever way gets us what we need. Glad it turned out well. That makes two of us. As excited as I am to get out of here and start repairing our hub, I think there's still more to find here. Take another look around. Let me know if you discover anything. Almost. Nice. Hey, Jake. Found something? Hello, what have we here? Oh, well, how about that? This holotape contains data for the different ASAM variants. You know, plot times. The different things ASAMs can be programmed for. I suspect vault -Tec planned to copy the software. Let's see. We got residential, agricultural, and industrial. Whoa, hold up a sec. There's more data here. What the? Recreational plot? Commercial? Darling? Do you know what you just found? Something wrong, buddy? There's data for four new plot types here. Four more things that ASAMs could build. I don't think Robco ever released these variants. At least not to the general public. This is one hell of a find. I'm gonna have to study this tape. If I could figure out how to transfer new data on the sensors, I'm fairly certain we'll soon have more things to build. What do you mean, you're only fairly certain? Well, as you know, ASAM's come pre-programmed with three plot types. To change what it builds, you just select the right settings. Easy enough once you know how. But I have no idea how you transfer new plot data onto an ASAM. But don't worry, I'll figure it out. Sounds great. I never thought we'd find sound like this here. I wonder what more is hidden around this place. Come on, let's keep looking. Damn it! Fucked. God damn. Yes.
Lock tight. What you messing with there? Well, I'll be. Looks like Voltec had themselves a ASAM printer. But I think its printing days are long behind. Them. They must have needed a steady supply of sensors to experiment with. Guess they got tired of buying them from Robco. Hmm. Say, if this thing could construct a whole sensor, I'd... let me check something. You know a machine can't make something if it don't got the schematics for it. What are you talking about? Well, would it surprise you to learn that this thing has a copy of the schematics needed to build ASAMs? I wonder who Voltec paid off for that. Let me just download a copy of this. I'm sure Voltec won't mind. And there we are. We may have to adapt and substitute a few parts. But now, we'd be able to build as many senses as we want. No more scaven for them. This is a real game changer. Good find, darling. Well, with that, I think we've uncovered everything we can here. Okay, let me just take a mental inventory of everything we found. We got the schematics to build our own sensors. New plot types, if I could figure out how to make them work. And of course, Voltex version of a comm hub, which just might allow us to start repairing the one we've already got. <laughs> to call this trip productive would be an understatement. I knew working with you was a good idea, but damn. I didn't expect us to do this well. Don't sell yourself short. Oh, thanks. I appreciate the sentiment, but you're the one who's making this happen. All right, I need to start gathering things up. Move everything we found back to the hardware store. Oh, wait, shit! I completely forgot! I meant to go meet up with someone. And I doubt they'll take kindly me blowing them off. Who is they? An acquaintance of mine. Actually, it's the guy who got us the info on this place. Said he needed to talk to me once I was done here. Something about... some important information he wanted to share. Well, there's no way I can just leave all this stuff here. Look, I know I'm kind of passing the buck, but could you meet with this fella for me? See what he wants? I'd really appreciate it. Sure. I can do that. Oh, thank you. You're a real pal. Sweeter than a baby's breath. The fellow you need to visit lives up in Diamond City. He's an information broker. He calls himself the Rom. Chances are he wants to sell us some info. And given his past track record, it's probably something useful. So here, take these caps. Pay him and find out what he has to say. Most hours of the day you'll find him in his office, towards the back of the city. Um, say, not that it's any of my business, but... While you're in Diamond City, it might be a good time to follow up on any leads you got. You know, on your kid. I understand there's a detective living there. Apparently he's one of the best when it comes to tracking things down. What do you know about this detective? Not much. I approached his agency a few times to look into something for me. They couldn't help me, but maybe they can help you. He's got an office in the middle of Diamond City. There should be a number of signs pointing you the right way. Diamond City? The Great Green Jewel. Nothing but a walled-up rat's nest if you ask some people. I suppose for now it's the best the Commonwealth has to offer. Most people travel in the region visit there at some point. There's a lot of interesting stuff there for sure, if you can stomach the place. Thanks for the advice. Hey, no problem, darling. All right, time for me to get this stuff back to the hardware store. This should be a fun challenge of logistics. Once you've wrapped up everything with the Ron, head on back and let me know how it went. Oh, actually, before you go, might as well take this. Here. That's a copy of the ASAM schematics. With that, you can now build your own sensors. As long as you got the parts. They 
Thank you. I won't blame you if you want to test out and build a few sensors. Just don't keep the wrong lane for too long. Anyway, I'll see you later. Good luck out there. Hey. Okay. 